Okay, so we're going to look at logic gates. We're going to look at Boolean algebra, and we'll look at K-maps. All right, we'll start off with these logic gates. All right, let's start by considering the OR gate. All right, symbol. We'll look at two inputs, A, B. Look at an output, Y. All right, now Y is equal to A or B. Let's write down a truth table for this, okay? So here we have A, here we have B, here we have Y, all right? Now, A is zero, B is zero, Y would be zero. That's the first case. If A is zero, B is one, then A or B would give me a one. If A is 1, B is 0, then A or B would also give me a 1. And then finally, if A is 1, B is 1, A or B would give me a 1. There is our OR gate function. Our OR gate function. All right? All right, if we looked at an AND gate. Okay, let's draw our symbol. Here is our symbol for the AND gate. We're looking at a two input AND gate, A, B, there is Y. Y is equal to A ANDed with B. Okay, now if we look to the truth table for this guy, we've got A, B, and Y. And let's look at that truth table. If we have A0 and B0, well, the output of this AND gate would be zero. If we have A0, B1, the output once again is zero. If we have A1, B0, the output again is zero. If we have A1, B1, the output is a one. That is our AND gate. All right, now let's look at an inverter. All right, uh, a symbol for the inverter. Here is A, here is our output Y, and of course Y is equal to the inversion of A, which is A bar. Our truth table, here is A, here is the output Y. If A is zero, Y is one. If A is one, Y is zero, okay? Let's look at the NOR gate. Okay, so here is the NOR gate. Symbol, it's like an OR with a bubble on the end implying inversion. Okay, so here is Y. Here are my inputs, A, B. Okay, so Y is equal to A or B. It's like an OR gate, whole thing inverted. Okay, our truth table then for this, A, B, Y, let's come up with the truth table here. Okay, zero, zero, okay, if that were an OR gate, zero and zero would give me what? Zero or zero gives me zero, since I'm inverting for the NOR, this is a one. Okay, if I have zero OR with one, that would have given me a one for the OR, we're inverting, so that would be a zero. One or zero would be a one for the OR gate, but this is the NOR gate, which is the inversion, so that gives me zero. And then finally, one or one would have given me a one if this were an OR gate, since it's a NOR, this gives me a zero. All right, let's now look at the NAND gate. So here's our NAND. All right, once again, symbol here. It's like an AND gate, the bubble, implying inversion. So this is A, this is B, 
This is y. Okay, so the output y then is equal to a, b, that's the and, invert the whole thing. Okay, truth table, a, b, and y. So let's look at this. If a is zero, b is zero. Okay, if this was a, an and operation, zero anded with zero gives me a zero, but it's the nand, okay, or the not of the and, which gives me a one. If a is zero and b is one, well, if that were an and function, that would be a zero, but it's a nand, so this gives me a one. And then one, zero, if this were an and function, then this would have given me a zero, but it's the nand, so that's a one. And then a one and a one, once again, if this were an anding function, I would have had a one here, but this is the nand, so that gives me a zero. So there is the nand truth table. Okay, that's the NAND truth table. Now look, we could use a NAND gate as a basic inverter. Okay, so let's, let's just look at how we do that. NAND gate, all right, uh, as an inverter. So how could we use a NAND gate as an inverter? Well, look, imagine if I were to hold A, all right, so look, let, let's redraw it sitting over here. Okay, there's my NAND gate, all right. Now let's imagine that I were to hold this A line here, supposing I held A at a 1, okay, and here's B coming in. So I tie this, if you like, uh, if we're using TTL, maybe I tie this to 5 volts, let's say. Okay, the 5 volts therefore representing a 1. All right, let's see what would happen here. If A is tied to a 1, there is the case where A is tied to a 1. Well, if B is a 0, Y is what? A 1. If B is a 1, Y is what? a zero. And so really then this is performing the function of an inverter such that y would be what? Basically the inversion of whatever is on the B line. So we could say y is really equal to B bar. Okay. Another approach might be this where we could take that same NAND gate and what could we do? We could let's say join both inputs together. We could call that A. Now let's consider what, what is happening here. Really what you're saying here is that A is equal to B, aren't you? Okay, let's look at that case. A and B are the same here. In this case, they're both zeros. What's the output? One. Uh, where else do we have A and B the same? Here and here, A and B are the same. What's the output? Zero, okay? So it seems though, what, Y is what? It's really the inversion of whatever is on A. And so we could say Y is simply A bar. Okay, so two ways now that we could use, if you like, a NAND gate to operate as an inverter. Okay, let's go back to the NOR gate for a moment here. Okay, so there's our NOR gate. Here's the truth table for that NOR gate. All right, now how could I use maybe a NOR gate, if you like, as an inverter? All right, now look, let's take that NOR gate. Here is my NOR gate, all right? Now, let's imagine that we were to tie this A line to zero. So A is tied to zero. There is Y, if you like, there is B. So if A is tied to zero, here's the case what, where A is tied to zero. If B is zero, Y is what? A one. If B is one, Y is what? A zero. So we could say that y then looks like what? The inversion of b or b bar. Okay, so it looks like, a, like an inverter. All right. Uh, we could also look at that same case where we take that NOR gate and maybe we tie both inputs together. We'll call it a. All right, so both inputs then, that's like a being equal to b, isn't it? All right, where do we have that case on our truth table? Here we have a is zero, b is zero. What's the output? A one. Yep. Where else? A is a a one here, b a one here, and the outputs are zero in this case. So here, once again, y looks like what? The inversion of the input or a bar. And so there we're using this NOR gate then as an inverter. All right. Okay, now let's have a, a look here at the exclusive OR gate or the often referred to as the XOR gate. All right, uh, symbol. Okay, it's like an OR gate, and you have another line like so. Here are our inputs, A, B, 
here is our output y. Okay? Uh, y in this case then is equal to a exclusive or, that's how we show an exclusive or, b. Alright, let's draw the truth table. a, b, and y. Alright, here we go. 0, 0, y is a 0. 0, 1, y is a 1. 1, 0, y is a 1. And 1, 1, y is a 0. Okay, that is the truth table then for the exclusive OR gate. All right, let's go one more here, and we'll look at the exclusive NOR gate, or the XNOR, if you like. All right, so we'll show the gate here. Looks like an exclusive OR, so I've just got a bubble on it, like so. So we've got what? A, B, and the uh, Boolean equation here, Y equals A, exclusive or B, if you like, with a bar above it. Okay, let's put this down. A, B for the truth table. All right, zero, zero. Well, it's really the inversion, isn't it, of the exclusive or, okay? The exclusive or, it's the inversion of it. So zero, zero, this should be a one. Uh, zero, one, this would be a zero. One, zero. This would be a zero, and one, one, this would be a, a one, okay? And so there's our exclusive NOR gate. Okay, let's now have a, a quick look here at some tri-state circuits, all right? So this is tri-state circuits, all right, often referred to as tri-state drivers, okay? Look at this guy here. Let's say this is A, this is our output Y, and let's say we've got an enable sitting over here. Let's draw the truth table for this. Okay, so we've got A, the enable, and we've got Y. Let's have a look at what's going on. All right, supposing I say to you the enable is zero. Okay, so this gate is disabled, okay? And let's say A is zero. Then what I'm saying to you here is that this output here is really in a Z state, okay? It's in a high impedance state. In other words, basically, it, this guy is looking very much like an open switch. So for this condition, A is not connected to Y, it's like an open switch. So if I look back in here, all I see is a very, very high impedance. Well, let's look at the other case. If E is zero, the gate is disabled, A is a one, well, the output is still in a disconnect mode or a high impedance state, all right? Now, let's look at the case where the gate is enabled. Enable is a one. If A is, let's say, a zero, since we have, have basically an inversion here, then Y is a one, okay? Uh, and in our last case here, gate is enabled, Y is a one, uh, because of the inversion, the output is a zero. Okay, so here we have the case, basically, where the gate is disabled. In other words, Y is now disconnected from A. And then here we have the gate enabled, and then we have a simple inversion action. Okay, so that's one type, if you like, of tri-state driver. The last one, let's look at this as an example. Okay, here we have A, here we have Y, here we have the enable, all right? Well, as you might expect, very similar to this, but without inversion. So here is the truth table uh, for this case right here. Uh, here we have, let's say, the gate disabled. If A is zero, doesn't matter. The output is in what? A Z state. Uh, if the gate's disabled, doesn't matter what A is, the output is in a disconnect state or a Z state. All right? If the gate is enabled and A is a zero, uh, then the output is a zero. If the gate is enabled and A is a 1, then the output is a 1, okay? Uh, this is a very, very useful circuit, uh, especially when we're dealing with bus systems, all right? And we'll take a look at that uh, after the break. Mm -hmm.